we're here at the uh, Rock Chip at CES 2013. So you have some news here. Oh yes, uh, we launched the new core core chips for the RK3188. It's a 28 nanometer high K metal gate process. So here you can see the PDB board and the core core A9 with the core core Mali 400 and so the speed can go as high as like maybe from 1.8 giga gigahertz to 2 gigahertz. So what kind of work did it take to make this work? Uh, yeah, it take a lot of research and uh, we are among the first few um, accurate products for the high key metal gate uh, process. Uh, so, you know, the 28 nanometer, the leakage getting higher, but because using the high key metal gate, um, you can do like, the performance is getting higher, but you get a lower power consumption and the lower uh, cost, of course. Mm -hmm. Lower cost too? Yeah. So, yeah. so what is this board that you're showing here? What is that? Uh, so that's our, we call it SDK board. And so basically we use it to develop our software and to do the prototyping. Mm -hmm. So where's the rock chip? Uh, or, or on the board? It's a big, big one. It's actually yeah. That's the that's the 3188. Yeah. So 28 nanometer. Yeah. And uh, does that mean that you have space for many different things in there? Some new features? Uh, of course. The first is the core core. The A9 core core. It's not like uh, those smaller cores. You know, you know, some people using like uh, the A5 or A7, and uh, you know, they actually not uh, as apple to apple to, to compare to A9. And we also, of course, have the, the video that all the 1080p stuff, uh, encoding and decoder. Uh, and we also supporting the four, uh, 4G connection. We have the building uh, connectivity for the 4G, uh, so you can connect to the 4G solution quite easily. Um, so roughly, that's the, uh, I think in the coming months, you can see more and more products using this chip. But you're not the, doing the modem, no? Uh, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Uh, so, how can you compare the price with the competitor doing A7, for example, quad core? What is the price difference? Uh, we trying to pass our whatever we get to our end customers. So, uh, basically, we offer better thing and better performance to price ratio. I will not say the final price, but definitely you get bargains and you get uh, uh, the performance you really deserve. Yeah. Is it higher performance than uh, Exynos 4, 4412? Uh, it's about maybe, uh, I think it's like 20 to 30% higher than the, I say, Tegra 3, but uh, similar to the uh, access, uh, you know, basically whatever, if you see, Every new chip, or I was doing the same chip, yeah. that's actually not like 4412, right? But it's 32 nanometers, no? Yeah, that's 28. So is that's better than 32, or? Uh, 28 is better, but uh, no, this is the bulk process, and they are using the SOI, so uh, I think similar, similar. performance, right. Nice. Yep. So this is going to be all over the market? Uh, right, right. How, I, I, how soon? I think maybe in March you will see quite a few products on the on the market. Mm. All right. Mm. And uh, so what are you showing over here? Over here we just showing our uh, several um, tablets, uh, no various tablets, no, different size, right? Dual core. Uh, yeah, this one is on a very thin, like eight inch one. It's like if you look at the, uh, it's like it's under nine millimeters. And here, just showing the actually passing the GMS model. So they yeah. see, of course, they're familiar with the, this one, of the Arcos course. one, right? And here, the, with the connectivity, like with 3G and phones, and, and actually, we here we have like a, the tablet with dual SIM card inside. So you can make a phone call. How do you do that? Is it a Huawei modem or? No, this actually we this is for two and a half G one. So it's actually GSM, a GPRS, so it's a dual SIM card. Well, who is making the modem? 
the modern we actually using the uh, spectrum. Spectrum. Mm. Or demonstrations, uh, right, right. That's like uh, on uh, this one is also with uh, yeah, you can put a SIM card here, the can recording card. Uh, so, familiar with this one with the TCL, and, and that's of course uh, Huawei. So, Huawei. Right, right. It's a media tab line. All right, and uh, uh, this Arcos one uh, with the keyboard. <laughs> Arcos, and uh, so can you say something about the market? Uh, uh, how big is it for you? Uh, I think the 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 Android tablet market is really growing fast. Uh, last, I think in 2012. The total for the Vibrant, there's like over 50 million. But this year, on the 2013, we see just a, a, another explosive growth. And even just for the Vibrant one, we see it's over 100 million uh, units. So definitely this year, we see the tablet will cross, the number of the tablet will cross the notebook. Across the notebook in 2013. It definitely, it's happening. And 50 million in 2012. Yeah, just for the that's mean I mean made in the Shenzhen, you know, the white brand, not Shenzhen not, stuff. Right, right. And so, how big part of that is Rockchip? Uh, we have quite a huge chunk. <laughs> huge chunk. Yeah, 20 million around. 20 million 2012. Yeah. yeah. And you expect double next uh, year? Yeah, double this year. This year. Alright, all right. this is really cool. And uh, it's not only in China, it's It's many all countries. over the world, you know, in the Egypt, Egypt, like uh, Brazil, Russia, you know, Thailand, uh, all over the world. I think, uh, you know, we see a lot, you know, for the, I think for the developing country, it's uh, like the first uh, computing device for the poor people. Nice. Are you doing Miracast solutions? Uh, yeah. It's going to be included for free in all the... Devices? Yeah, we actually, not just the, the tablet, we also have the dongle and the... Uh, we call the TV box. It's actually can share between the screen. So here we have a demo that's using the RK366. It's a, you see a dongle you can put yeah. in your pocket, but it can connect to TV or um, like a mini PC. So here is a pretty, uh, probably you're familiar with this uh, phone. Nexus? Yeah, Nexus 4, that's with Nexus the 4.2, 4. 4. 4. the mirror cast inside. So here we can demo. Let's take a look, maybe. It's already there? Not yet. So it's connecting the. Uh, conference? So this is this is working today on Rockchip? Oh, yeah, it's already. So all Rockchip device can support it? Uh, for the dongle, I think the receive side, yeah. because uh, for the transmit side, it's a uh, need to upgrade all the 4.2. Any 4.2 can do it? Every uh, 4.2. Right. 4.2. 4. 4. 4. 4. Every Android device 4.2. Right. It. Yeah. Yeah. If you have this uh, companion device like nice. like the dongle we have here. So, so can you show something? So you see here, uh, basically, well, the network connection is not that good, but if you see. It will change like the the mirror has. Nice. So, so if I put on a camera, that's a good reason to get a HDMI dongle, no? Yeah. Then right. you can add mirror cast to your mirror TV. Cast, right. All right. So if I get one, I can point at you. Ah, uh, <laughs> here it is. So. Um, so what do you think is going to happen with Android 5, can you say? I think Android 5, it might uh, well, go for the hybrid, you know, the notebook, and maybe there's a final fight between the Android and then getting to the enterprise. Uh, that's what I see. with Windows? Uh, probably. <laughs> probably? That's cool. That's yeah, really we'll cool. see, we'll see. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right.